all you are watching simulink tutorial and today we are going to see transition action in state flow so in earlier video i explained the state action versus condition action if you want to watch that video click on the link in the description below so let's get started with today's example so in this model i am giving input from this repeating sequence tail block and the output will be displayed on the scope so in this chart the logic I have designed will know what is the transition action. So let's go inside this chart and I'll quickly explain the logic. So by default, the default state will be active. So for this, the entry action will be executed that is count equal to zero and output equal to zero. Now when input will be greater than zero, count equal to count plus one this condition action will be taken but the part that is slash in curly braces out equal to one will not be executed the part after the slash is a transition action that is how we write a transition action that is slash and then the action to be taken the transition action takes place only when the state from which the path is coming becomes inactive and goes to another state at which it ends so in simple words in this case there should be a complete transition from default state to this out state so when either count greater than 3 or input greater than 5 becomes true the path completes and the transition action takes place so that's how the transition action works so once the out state becomes active unless and until the count less than zero becomes true it will remain in out state so there is no entry action for this state but the during action will be executed as long as it is in out state so the decrementation of count will occur and output equal to two is the during action now when count less than zero condition becomes true it goes from out state to default state so that's how this chart works okay so all input variables are added using the model explorer that is this option next to configuration parameter if you go to chart you can see here the state names and the input output variables for this model the solver is discrete and fixed step solver so now let's simulate this model you can see the execution animation how it occurs okay double click on the scope and you can see here the input count and output of the simulation for this model so initially the default state is active and input is zero so count is zero output is also zero so from the second input it is two so it starts to count up that is count is equal to count plus one if we try to map this with the model you can see input is greater than zero so count equal to count plus one is executed so one two three okay till then the output is zero now the count is four okay so count is greater than three becomes true so the transition action will take place because this path that is this input greater than zero condition action and this first path that is count greater than three it completes the path from default to out state so the output equal to one this transition action takes place and the out state becomes active but since there is no entry action we have this transition action output equal to one okay then after that the count start decrementing and once the 
count is less than 0 that is minus 1 it goes to default state and hence count becomes 0 and output equal to 0. So now you know the difference between state action, condition action and transition action. So state action for state being active, condition action for condition being true and transition action for completing the transition from one state to another. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning.